In this video, we are going to take a look at some of the free and paid for CAD models that you can download off the internet and see how they compare to 3D scan data. Now, specifically, what we're looking for here is their accuracy. How accurate are these models? Because the models look great. I mean, some of these models look really, really nice, but how are they very accurate? So we're going to take a look at that. So if you go on the internet and either type in free CAD models or, you know, CAD models to purchase or whatever, you'll find many sites uh, that offer them. Again, either you pay for them or some of them are just free. Uh, so, for example, if we go to this site here and type in Uricon, which is a Lamborghini, uh, and you take a look at this model here, you can see it looks, you know, fantastic. And this is free. This model you can download uh, absolutely for free. Uh, if you go to some other websites, uh, Turbo Squid is one, for example. And we want to just take a look at, uh, let's take a look at uh, cars, uh, for example. Um, you'll see a whole collection of vehicles. And uh, let's just pick one of them. And you can see they look really, really nice. They look very accurate, very detailed. And you get to download the 3D model. Uh, and, you know, all the renderings and pictures or whatever it may be. So you take a look at these and you say, hey, that looks great. Now, why are we wanting to do this comparison? Well, we've actually had people call us up and ask, talk to us about our uh, 3D scanning services, and they've asked, well, why can't I just download uh, a model off one of these websites? And you can see this one's a couple hundred bucks. Why can't I just use that? Well, we actually scanned a Lamborghini Huracan a few years back, did a little video on it, um, because what we did was we designed ground effects uh, that fit and made it right up to the car. So I thought, well, why don't we take that scan data, because we know that data is very accurate, and buy the best model we could find on the internet and download it and compare them. And let's see how accurate it is. So that's what we're going to show in this video. All right, so let's get started by looking at our 3D scan data from the actual project. And what I've done here is I've cleaned up the scan data just to show the main body panels. Um, I left the, the wheels on here for reference as well, but this is our actual scan data from the project, the raw scan data. And I've removed the windshield, the headlights, some of the, you know, the trim pieces, um, the stuff we, the tail lights, stuff we don't care about, okay? Because typically someone wanting to work with this data is designing parts that either fit right up to the vehicle or maybe let's say you're going to do a different front fascia, you know, come up with your own design. You still need that to, you know, to match up with the roof and, and the sides and things like that. Um, for our project, we were doing a lot of uh, ground effect stuff. So side skirts, chin spoilers, rear spoilers, things like that. So you can see what this looks like. So here's our scan data. Very, very accurate, you know, with, within probably 10 thousandths of an inch from the front to the back of the vehicle. So we know this is very accurate. Um, so now let's bring in the model we purchased. We'll have them just start by side by side. And we took that model and we cleaned it up to pretty much be the same thing. Took out the glass, the headlights, um, just so we can focus in on the things. We took the interior out, which we didn't scan in this case. Um, so there they are side by side. And if you look at them, you'd say, you know, that looks pretty good. Now, next, I've made a copy of it and I've done a best fit alignment and put them right on top of each other. And they look pretty close, but you can definitely see, you know, there are some differences. Um, 
um, where we're seeing that the uh, light blue and not purple uh, means that this surface is on the top and where we're seeing purple and not light blue, obviously the other way around. So what we're going to do next is take this, both these models into some inspection software where we can do detailed analysis and see what the differences are. So before we jump into the inspection software, one of the questions you may have is, you know, how do they make these models? Because they look so realistic. Um, and from my understanding and what I've seen uh, is they start with pictures, top, side, front, rear uh, view. They typically go in software like 3D Max, Maya, uh, maybe Cinema 4D, software like that. And they just start and they start, you know, with the views and they start tracing over and creating surfaces and, you know, going through that whole process. So that's one other thing to consider with these models is they're normally not surface or solid models. They're normally just mesh models, uh, meaning polygons or quads that you can download in an OBJ or a 3D Max, uh, you know, format like that. So if you're using traditional CAD, um, these models may not work with you because they, they work for you because they're not mathematical surface models. They're usually render models. But again, they look fantastic. If you just need something for renderings or uh, promotion or something, uh, you know, these are great. Um, but, uh, but that's typically the process I've seen is they start with photos and trace over them. So that's another thing. There's no real scale to these models. They may be, uh, you know, somewhat correct in their proportions, but, uh, you know, if this car was, let's say 200 inches long, the model you download could be anything because I don't think they really, you know, necessarily set the units. Maybe they go, uh, measure center line and center line of the vehicle and try to match it to, you know, posted uh, dimensions, but don't expect them to be even correct uh, from the get go. So here we are in the inspection software and let's turn on both models again. And I was mentioning scale. We actually had to scale that model up and then best fit it to get it to match our 3D scan data, which we know it, like I said before, is very, very accurate. So we got the scale and then we best fit them. Uh, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn off the, uh, the purchase model and leave just our 3D scan data because we've set that as our nominal or our reference data. Now it doesn't really matter which one you do. Uh, we're, just, we're just comparing one to the other. Um, so first thing we're gonna do is turn on our 3D compare. And what that does is analyzes the one model to the other model and then gives us a color map based on the difference. And what I've done here is I have set the max tolerance to be 1.25 inches and the minimum uh, uh, undersize at, at a negative 1.25. And then everything you see in green is the 0.125. So I've set that as our tolerance. I figure an eighth of an inch is a, a realistic tolerance on something like this. So you can see all the areas in green are within an eighth of an inch, and that's it. Everything else is either uh, plus out in the red or minus out in the blue. And if I hover around, I can see, you know, some different values here. Um, you can see well over an inch and a quarter here. And then let's turn on, I've, I've pulled out some comparison points. And I just clicked on the screen in some of the spots, and you can see the numbers. So, you know, anywhere from 0.74 uh, to 1.1, just in the areas I picked. So right away we know, you know, things could be off by as much of an inch uh, on this model. Okay? So... That gives you an idea. We can rotate this around. I mean, it should be pretty much uh, symmetrical. Uh, most of the time, they model half the car and mirror it over. In our case, we scanned the entire vehicle. Um, so if there were slight differences, there shouldn't be. We, we would have picked those up. So that just gives you a general idea right away, especially in these areas here. We, we can definitely see some differences up here in the front. There's some differences. So let's turn that off. Let's turn off the compare. And I'm going to turn on... Uh, we also cut some sections through this, and let's let's take a look at some of the sections. All right, so here you can see we've cut sections about every eight inches through the vehicle, and these are basically 2D planar sections, um, and that'll give us uh, more insight into, into what's going on here. And the way these sections work um, is you'll see they're a little bit color-coded, and that matches the bar over here, um, and they show this little whisker plot, or you can turn on the whisker plot. Um, so you can see where the vehicle deviates come in here. And again, I can highlight over this and you can see that's a, 
uh, 0.37 of an inch. And these areas back here where we saw, saw a lot of deviation, um, you can see half inch, three quarters of an inch, um, and so on. So you can, you can really kind of see in certain areas of the vehicle, it really uh, is either oversized or, or undersized. So let's isolate a, a specific section next and take a look at it. All right, so we're going to take a look at this section uh, right here. We'll hide the, uh, uh, the vehicle so we can just see this better and look at it head on. And we've changed it from the whisker plot just to uh, uh, dashed line. So you can see down in here, I kind of looked at some of the, the worst case uh, scenarios. And you can see here, it's off by 1.28 inches. So that would be significant if you were trying to design something that, you know, made it up to this area. In fact, some of our ground effects start underneath and then curve up over the side here. Um, so it's uh, it just goes to show you how uh, how off it can be. So so if you look here, uh, the solid black line and let's turn that back off is our um, is our scan data and the dash line is the purchased model. So again. Um, you know, fairly close up here, but even this kind of detail here uh, is definitely off. Uh, so, and then uh, even up here, it's significant too. So uh, again, that's that's a big difference if you were trying to make something uh, that had to mate up to the vehicle. So let's do this next. Uh, so we've got one cut across that way. Let's go ahead and take a look at a cross section going the other way and let's shut this off and get into a view to see that. And once again, we'll sh turn off the, uh, the uh, scan data so we can see it better. So you can see along the roof, you can see we go in, then we go back out. Uh, we definitely know there's an issue up in the nose area. You can see there it's off by 0.74. Um, and, you know, and again on the back. So it's, it's you know, it's off. Uh, some areas worse than others. Uh, but again, if we were designing a, a spoiler and it had to mit, uh, fit perfectly, you know, that's just one section through the vehicle. OK, now, I think that's right down. Let's double check. I believe that's right down the middle. Yeah. Uh, and it tend to get worse as it went out. So. So that just gives you an idea of, you know, the difference uh, between these two models. So in summary, what is the point of this comparison? Well, if you're looking for models to do renderings or animation or other promotional things, then the free or the paid models that you can download would be a great resource. If you're looking for something that needs to be accurate because you're going to be designing parts to fit up to it or you're making replacement parts, then we don't feel that these models would work. First of all, there's really no scale uh, to most of them that we've seen when you download them. And second of all, proportionally, uh, they could be off. Um, and I'm sure it varies from model to model and who, who did the, you know, the design. Uh, but if they're modeled off pictures or some other method, there's just no way to guarantee that they're accurate. Again, they'll probably look fantastic, but... Uh, if you spent a lot of time and money designing parts and then had them made, uh, there's a good chance they wouldn't fit. So that wraps up this video. Just want to do a quick comparison to uh, free or paid uh, CAD you can download um, to highly accurate 3D scan data.